How were you feeling after Saturday? I have to imagine you would have been pretty sore yesterday and today. Yeah, I'm extremely sore. Uh, not gonna lie, um, but you know that just comes with the sport of football. Uh, you're gonna get nicked up. You're gonna get bruised up, but. Um, it's how you take care of your body afterwards, and um, I'm doing everything I can to get back to where I was, and um, you know. Yeah. What's, what's that? What's that like getting back to where you were? What, how much more treatment do you have to go through? I just got to get extra treatment, double the treatment, double the treatment that I was getting before. Um, you know, it just means extra ice massages, extra massages, and um, just strengthening my ankle and stuff. So. Um, that's my main focus right now, and um, to get back out on the field with my teammates tomorrow. Do you think your season is over when it happened? At first, uh, first thoughts it was, because um, I couldn't feel, like I just, my whole body went numb, like couldn't feel the whole right side of my body, well, my right side of my leg or whatever, so um, it was just, I don't, I never want to experience that again. It's just something that makes me grateful for what I'm doing now, and um, not to ever take a playoff or anything. So, um, you know, it it really hit me to think that my, you know, um, college days was over with. Um, and then it was just a whole bunch of scenarios going on in my head on whether or not um, if it was to be the end of um, my college career or whatever or um, the end of the season for me, would I apply and try to get a medical or do I just go on? And those are just thoughts that was playing on in my head, but um, fortunately enough for me that it wasn't that serious and um, I'm able to get back on the field with my teammates. So is that going through your mind, all that going through your mind, just in the span of basically lying on your back on the ground and on the trainer's table and on the car out? Yeah, um, it was definitely tough, you know. Um, I couldn't pr put any pressure on my, on my leg at the moment and, you know, I even tried doing it by myself once they called a card over to put pressure on, but I just couldn't, and um, it was just it was just a feeling that I didn't that I don't want to have again, and um, I just got to continue to um, better myself in the training room and in the weight room where I can get stronger in those areas, and um, as long as I continue to do that, then I shouldn't have to see another day like that. Take me through. Uh, I mean, we saw you coming off the field and mm -hmm. getting carted into the locker room. From that point on. You come back out. We don't see. You. Take me through those moments and what, what what happened from the time you went in on the cart and came back out of half. Well, um, on my ride into the um, Washington Tunnel or whatever into their facility, um, I was just hearing mostly Duck fans um, just wish me the best of luck and saying that they need need me or whatever, and um, they hope it's not too serious and they love me or whatever. And um, of course, I heard Washington fans born and whatnot, but. Um, that's besides the point, but um, when when I heard our fans like you know give out grievance or whatever, um, it just it it made me feel better. Um, it it made me want to get back out there with my teammates and um, just going in and getting the X-ray and um, just at this time I was just thinking about my teammates and I just you know once they said that. It, they didn't see anything wrong with it. it was just you know probably just a sprain or whatever um then you know that was when i made the decision that i wanted to go go back out and um i told our doctor that you know um, he tried to give me crutches or whatever and tried to tell me that you know i'm done or whatever but i wouldn't take it um and um so i was i start walking on my own um without any crutches or whatever so um came back onto the field um trying to you know get moving in my ankle while I was walking out there and, you know um, and then I laid back on the trainer table out there and um, they just told me to get ice and then they asked me if I wanted to go in and I told them yeah because I didn't want to be a distraction to my teammates so um, I went in and watched the rest of the half in the in the locker room and uh, meanwhile I'm icing in or whatever and um, our trainer uh, one of our trainers was just saying that, you know, she didn't think that I should go back in unless, um, you know, I'm totally sure and, you know, um, that I can go back in and compete at a high level. And, you know, I told her that, you know, I wanted to try and go out and warm it up. And um, once I did that, um, 
I was just like, if I do it and I look good, can I go back out? And she said yes. Yeah. So um, I got out and got out early and um, started running around on the sideline, doing a little bit of cuts. And um, the doctor, uh, one of our doctors, um, was there and you know he gave me the thumbs up to see you know if I was good or not and I told him yeah and um, after, this was after I, I was still working out when Washington scored and once they scored you know I tried to insert myself on the kickoff return team and um, <laughs> Chief um, actually came and pulled me out and told me no you can't do that just yet and um, so after I went back in for an offensive series and I scored that touchdown um, it was then that you know Coach Rad and um, Coach Rad had brought Chief and told me that you know he's good to go on kickoff return now and you know that's when at this moment I'm I'm not feeling any of my pain and you know at this moment I'm just fighting for my teammates um I just have them in the back of my head and um, I just have my family in the back of my head. Will the pain come back? Well, especially uh, when you're after you score the touchdown when you stand on the sideline. Uh, it, it, it necessarily didn't come back until after the game. I guess it was just all adrenaline going um, throughout the rest of the game when I was back in it. Um, but, uh, you know, it was sore getting on the plane and getting off of the plane. But, um, it, I mean, it it got worse um, as the night went along. And, you know, when I woke up the next morning to get treatment, it, it was just I was in so much pain. Uh, so. Do you feel like you'll be able to, to go again in just a few days? Of course. Um, anytime, um, anytime that I have an opportunity to play for my teammates and um, cherish these moments that I'm going to take them, whether I'm 100% or not, um, it's just the fact of being out there with my teammates and um, celebrating with my teammates. Of course, if if it's too bad for me not to go, then I'm not going to. I'm going to hold myself out. but. Um, I'm, pro I'm progressing each and every day, and um, I'm looking to get out, get back out there with my team. So your story's been told a lot over the mm -hmm. last couple of weeks, a couple of years. Mm -hmm. Does this almost seem like it's, it's almost fitting in like the way that you handle this situation? Would you been able to come back and do what you did a couple of years ago, just in that game alone? Yeah, most definitely. Um, you know, I've just always been a fighter. Um, I've always been a fighter, no matter the circumstances, and. Um, or injury is not going to hold me back from being a fighter for my teammates. And um, throughout this past year, I've just grown my teammates to make me want to get out there with them more. And um, I won't ever pass up an opportunity to better myself and better my teammates. But if it's hurting my teammates, then I'm not going to go out there. Um, I'd rather have them have the next guy come in and, and make plays. But um, again, anytime I can get out there and, and contribute to my team, I'm going to do so. Russell, if you thought you, you were a soccer player out there, the way it went down and getting back up, what did you say back to him? I, I didn't have anything to say to him. Uh, I just drugged it off and, and laughed about it because, you know, I actually, it it actually was funny um, looking back at it. And, um, it was, I wouldn't say it was a little bit dramatic, but, you know, it was dramatic enough. And uh, I didn't mean to scare anybody. I actually. I actually, a lot of yeah, I know. Uh, I didn't mean to scare anybody. Um, I didn't mean to scare myself for that, um, but um, everything turned out good, and uh, I'm on the positive side of things looking forward.